Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August 30th of 2023, well, it is titled Full Moons of August. So what do we see here? Well, this is the full moon and we watch it in a couple of different images here rising just as the sun sets on August the 1st. Now the full moon occurs when the moon is exactly opposite to our sun in the sky. So when the sun sets, the full moon will rise and as the sun rises, the full moon will set. They are exactly opposite to each other. Now here we see a couple of different things in these images. And one thing we see is that the color of the moon changes as it rises from a very deep red when it's very close to the horizon there. And then as it moves up, you can see it getting brighter and brighter. Now that occurs because it's passing through more atmosphere when we see it lower toward the horizon. And the more atmosphere it passes through, the more the blue and the green, the shorter wavelengths of light are going to be scattered out by our atmosphere. So we see only the very long wavelength. So when it's close to the horizon, the moon or the sun will look a very deep red in color. And as it gets higher in the sky, we look through less atmosphere and we will see it getting closer to an orange and then to a yellow color. Now we also note the distortion. Look at how distorted that small image of the moon is just as it's peaking above the horizon. The distortion is also caused by Earth's atmosphere. Obviously, the moon does not change. It is exactly the same as a large ball of rock. So its distortion is just an optical effect from light passing through turbulence in the atmosphere. And as it gets higher in the sky, you can see that this gets less and less. The red image, second image, the redder red one has a little bit of distortion, especially toward the bottom. And then as you get higher up towards the more yellow images, the moon is far less distorted. So that is, again, an atmospheric effect. If you watched an object rise like this without an atmosphere, you would not see either of those two effects that we talked about here. Now we said that this was the full moon of August or one of the full moons in this case there are actually two full moons in August the other one being tonight and that will be uh, occur uh, because the lunar cycle of lunar phases is 29 and a half days so if a full moon occurs right at the beginning of one month it can occur at the beginning at the end of that month as well. So it just has to be timed just right. And sometimes this is called a blue moon for the second full moon in a month. Now they don't occur very often because you have to have that first full moon occur very early in the month. You don't have a lot of leeway in the month there to be able to get two full moons within the same day. But if you get a chance to see the full moon tonight, you will find it by a bright object, which is actually the planet Saturn that you can see as well. Now this is also both of these will be called a super moon and that super moon occurs when the moon occur full moon occurs near perigee. Perigee is the closest approach of the moon to Earth in its elliptical orbit. So when that happens, the moon would look a little bit larger in size and a little bit brighter because it is a little bit closer to Earth. Now you won't notice it directly, but if you could compare images of the super moon with an ordinary full moon directly, you would be able to see that there is very definitely a difference in size between those two. So a chance to see the second full moon in of August tonight uh, when it rises as the sun sets. So that was our picture of the day for August 30th of 2023. It was titled Full Moons of August. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be the Crew 7 Nebula. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.